Vegas was right because Paolo Bencaro, here's his name first in Brooklyn as the first overall selection in the 22 NBA draft headed to the Orlando Magic. So there you have it. The odds, Vegas was right. When are they ever wrong? Again, Sunday night, he was plus 1,000 to go first overall. He closed minutes before the draft at minus 130. In a week, it was all about Jabari Smith. It is, in fact, Paolo Bencaro, the first overall selection in 2022, headed to play for the Orlando Magic, leading Duke to the Final Four this year, and now looking to make the Magic relevant once again. Uh, you said you didn't have a problem with him going number one overall. He goes number one overall, Avery Johnson. And you also got to be happy. Um, we talked about Mike Miller recently yeah. becoming yeah. an agent. Yeah. You remember a couple of years ago, he was on Penny Hardaway's sure. bench um, a as an assistant coach. And obviously, he's had a, a really unbelievable career. But now he has his player go not only in the first round, but the number one overall pick. And this was a kid that he spent a lot of time working out with, you know, trying to help his game evolve and develop. And to see him go number one, what a big fan in Mike's cap <laughs> yeah, like, to have his guy go number one. There's no question. You know, Mike played for the Grizzlies and then joined Penny Hardaway's staff. He made his home in Memphis, and so he still lives there, which is among the reasons Paulo Bencaro has been working out in Memphis. But for Mike to go from, you know, college assistant who recruited Paulo Bencaro to Memphis, never really had a real shot to get him, but, like, they were in there on some level because of the relationship between Mike and the Ben Carroll family. To go from recruiting him unsuccessfully as a coach, but recruiting him successfully as an agent and then watching him become the number one pick in the draft, that's a, a pretty remarkable turn of events. Recruiting him successfully as an agent the second time around because he yeah. did not represent him with his NIL stuff that's at right. Duke. This is incredible because we sat here for most of the day and we're sitting thinking it's Jabari Smith. No, it's not. So we've already got chaos at the top. And look, none of us are surprised or none of us are like, oh, how dare they take Paolo Bencaro over Jabari Smith. Paolo Bencaro is NBA ready. He's going to be starting day one. I mean, this is a kid uh, that led Duke in a season where there was so much pressure with Mike Krzyzewski's final season. When you look at this, is it – is there any chance that you give this pick anything less than an A for Orlando? No, I would give it an A. Yeah. Um, even though I would have taken Chet Holmgren, I, I can't sit here and tell you I think it's ridiculous or even wrong to take Paulo Bencaro because I've been on record for a while. Um, I, I think he's the most impactful player right from the jump uh, in this entire draft class. He's the favorite in my mind to be rookie of the year so uh, absolutely this is sensible somewhat surprising given the way the reporting had unfolded heading into the draft but totally sensible and 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 could prove to be uh, the smartest move of the entire draft we'll see all right let's bring in matt norland at our cbs sports hq college basketball analyst matt you had paolo bencaro as the guy that would have the best pro career among the draft prospects going into the draft tonight he goes number one overall your reactions what great job orlando I had Paulo Banquero as the number one prospect in this class, uh, number one in my mock draft, and I think this is wonderful. They completely fooled the league, by the way. Uh, and as we get ready for Chet Holmgren here, you know, I have sources telling me that the expectation here is that this twist should not change things. Chet Holmgren, his camp, fully expect to go to Oklahoma City with him being at two. We're about to see if Sam Presti can actually handle that. A plot twist here, because I don't think the Thunder's front office was expecting Orlando to do this. I don't believe that they thought they were actually going to take Van Caro at one instead of Jabari Smith. And so a scenario that Parrish and I talked about on Ion College Basketball just a couple of days ago, Jabari Smith falling to three with Houston. Could it possibly be? This is exactly the kind of chaos that this draft called for. I love the pick. I think Van Caro will be the rookie of the year. I think he'll eventually prove to be the best player in this draft, and the Magic have done it. They have picked the best prospect overall, and somehow in the process uh, have fooled the rest of the league in doing so. It's fantastic. Paolo Van Caro going first overall to the Orlando Magic. Matt, do you think this came down to a better fit for the Magic as they're currently constructed? The wonderful question. Remember, Mike Miller actually does have ties to that front office uh, in Orlando. Mike Miller represents Paolo Bancaro. He is his agent. That certainly played a factor there. Fit also, no doubt about it. And Bancaro, you have someone offense. First of all, you have a guy with 
with star capability, star mentality. He played at Duke under the brightest of lights. Mike Krzyzewski's final season guided Duke to the Final Four. He's been awesome as a prospect for years and years at this point. No, he's not the full-on uh, complete player at this point that maybe Jabari Smith is. Maybe not even that Sean Holmgren is because when you factor in the defense. But fit-wise, come on now. A Parrish and I are on the same wavelength with this 100% all the way. Don't worry about the fit. Get the player you think actually will be the best. And Bancaro, you can plug him in right now. He'll be ready to go. Paolo Bancaro, first overall to the Orlando Magic, uh, a polished scorer who can create looks for himself anywhere on the court. He had 12 double-doubles this past season, his lone season at Duke, tied for the second most in the ACC, looting the Blue Devils to the Final Four in his only season. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics? Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.